after 32 days, 64 games and 171 goals, there was only one winner. Germany are the new world champions after grabbing the glory at the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. The tournament will be remembered for its exciting games and spectacular goals but also some of the biggest shocks of recent times, with the hosts Brazil and defending champions Spain both suffering humiliating defeats. England, meanwhile, only lasted eight days and two games before being eliminated. BBC Sports TV and Radio Football presenters and pundits look back on the action and choose their best goal, best player and most memorable moment of the tournament, before considering how far away England are from being contenders. Gary Lineker, the volley James Rodriguez scored for Colombia against Uruguay is the one that stands out for me. The little look behind him, the chest, the turn, the volley. You could have 50 goes at that and not get close to doing what he did. In fact, I would never score that goal in a million years. Alan Shearer, that Rodriguez strike is the goal of the tournament for me, the technique and touch was perfect and the execution was amazing. It was the perfect goal, Rodriguez's balance and the way he got his shot away. Rio Ferdinand, easily the best goal is that Rodriguez effort. But the instinct of Robin Van Persie's header, coming at such a distance and spotting the keeper off his line, it is such a hard skill, that comes second. Mark Lawrenson, I'm going to stick with Van Persie's header because he had to get that absolutely 100% right, otherwise he would have just headed it into the goalkeeper's arms. It's a completely unique goal, he's not just smashed it and it has flown in. What also made it special was that I was there to see it and spent a split second thinking oh my goodness, how did he do that? Chris Waddle, James Rodriguez volley was the best goal but Tim Carhill's volley for Australia against the Duck was a very close second. It's a hard skill to do, to meet the ball perfectly when it drops over your shoulder and you are running onto it, but Carhill swung a leg at it and met it perfectly. It could have cleared the stadium but it went in off the bar. Danny Mills, Germany's Thomas Muller is quite unique. I've watched him a lot, and this is going to sound silly, but I'm not really sure what he is great at. He is not blisteringly quick, and he does not run at you, dribble or shoot from distance. I look at him and think how would I have stopped him, and I'm not really sure because he drifts and wanders so much. What he is, is clever. He is a goal scorer who is fantastic at being in the right place at the right time. That is what makes him almost unplayable at times. Mark Lawrenson, the best player in Brazil has been Muller and not just because of the goals he has scored. He is very much the archetypal modern day footballer, a great athlete who can play anywhere and get you goals but also understands every position he plays. He is an outstanding footballer. Tim Vickery, it has to be James Rodriguez. I know Colombia went out in the quarter-finals but there was something from him in every game. He produced perhaps the outstanding 45 minutes of football from an individual at the tournament when he came on at half-time in their group game against Japan. The score was 1-1 and Japan were trying to win to go through but Rodriguez made two goals with sensational passes of a different type and scored a wonderful solo goal to seal a 4-1 win Alan Shearer. The star of the show has been James Rodriguez. Rio Ferdinand, I have to agree, Rodriguez is a young guy and not many might have known all about him before the tournament but, wow, they do now. He went back to Colombia a hero. Gary Lineker, I am Lionel Messi's biggest fan and he is the most wonderfully gifted player since Diego Maradona but, here in Brazil, 